to the golfswing.com.au website. My name is John Furs, a member of the Professional Golf Association of Australia and a GSCD donkey instructor in the golfing machine. Well, what you see here is we have the dual pendulum system. This is an application of Isaac Newton's laws of force and motion. This simple model of a swing should give you some idea of what is happening throughout the golf swing. Now the model consists of two rods. The yellow rod is the left arm. The green rod is the golf club. Now the hinge up the top here is the left shoulder. And in between the yellow rod, the left arm, and the green rod, the club, we have a hinge here, which is the left wrist. And of course, the club head at the end. Now, what I've done here, I've actually added a weight. So as this pendulum, dual pendulum system is taken back, once it's let go, the weight will represent the acceleration of the shoulders. Now, from the top, as we go back, we see that the left wrist is fully cocked. Left arm is straight and had the club head here. Now, as I let this go, what will happen, the weight will, will force the shoulders, the acceleration of the shoulders throughout the swing, and this will bring the club down, and as the club's coming down, we'll see how gradually down here, even in slow motion, how this is released through centripetal force and strikes the ball. Now the ball is positioned, the left shoulder being low point, and the ball is positioned just slightly to my left side of low point to encourage a down and out strike. So from here, as I take this back, if I just let this go, let's see what happens to the ball. And a beautiful straight shot. So that means in a golf swing, we have two techniques. We have a swinging and we have a hitting technique. A hitting technique is solely to do with muscular effort. In the swing technique, it relies on the body, the pivot, the body turning. This is, as they say, your best friend is centrifugal force. Okay, so a golf swing is very body orientated to educated hands. Thank you very much and I hope this gives you some idea of what happens within a golf swing.